Welcome to Libtards and Shy. Here, we discuss liberalism and what's stopping its progress, all while drinking way too much Arabic tea, which is called Shy. So, come on in. So I go back up to the bar. I'll get the next round of drinks because I'm hoping to run into her again. And sure enough, she's there. Girl, oh. the, girl the fat ass. I told you about it earlier. The hoodie girl? It's not hoodie girl. Not hoodie girl. No, uh, no, 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 okay, no. but girl fat ass. Oh, God. Okay. Hoodie girl. The story ended very differently. Okay, 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 so I go yeah. back up there and I stand right next to her, order my drinks, whatever, and we get to talking. Like a natural moment comes up where I'm like, we start talking. And then another dude from the group comes through. Uh, we'll call him Brandon. I don't know. Wait, is she flirting with you? We're flirty-ish. Right? Flirty-ish, okay. Grow into it. I'm okay. trying to, at least. Right, right, right. right? And I, he, I'm like, where are you from? And he's like, oh, I'm from here, here, here. And she's like, where are you from? You, you, here. And this fucking Brandon goes like, oh, I'm, I'm from here. And I was like, fucking no one asked you, Brandon. He just jumped in the conversation. Just jumped in the conversation. He's like, that was it. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. And she has to acknowledge him, because or else she's rude, right? Right, right. I was right. like, whatever. And I'm, I'm trying to steer it back. So like, all right, so what are you doing? Like, you just out with friends tonight? What's going on? What are you trying to get oh into? Oh, my God, you're sending the signals. Yeah, and he's like, oh, dude, I'm fucking, uh, we're trying to get late tonight. I was like, Brandon, shut the fuck up, dude. And he keeps doing this oh, for the entire no. fucking time, man. And I'm sitting there wondering, he's like, are you incompetent? Or are you just trying to fuck me up? Like, are you, are you trying to make this dysfunctional right now, this by attempt to flirt, or are you just fucking retarded? Like, you can't tell the difference. Yeah. I don't know. Well, what the hell? What, did, you, did you talk to him? What, I never figured it out. Good Lord. You know, it's hard. It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. It is hard to tell. And it kind of reminds me of, like, the U.S. Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit. Low A little bit. bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really strung that one together, didn't we? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, if you can name the guy not Brandon, I guess what would you call him? Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. I I'm, think... His name in my phone is not Mitch McConnell. I changed it. <laughs> I changed it right before we started recording. But um. But yeah, the reason we call him Mitch McConnell now and not Brandon is because what around oh eight to oh ten oh ten. Yeah, 10, like probably. around the midterms. Right around the midterms, right after Obama got elected, the GOP and by the GOP I mean Mitch McConnell leading the GOP realized this thing that the American people cannot tell the difference between dysfunction and incompetence. They can't tell the difference between Brandon obstructing you on purpose, me. on purpose, or cock, cock blocking you just by, to be a dick. To be like, okay, so you can't tell if he's doing it on purpose or if he's dumb, or if he just can't read social cues. Yeah. So, in a political framework, this means that the American people can't tell when governing is functioning properly, or sorry, let me rephrase that: the American people can't tell the difference between when government can't function or when government or the people in power are retarded. So, when the midterms swing in the other way. Against Obama, as right. most midterms do. Right. Right. Obama gets all the blame for it. So basically, you're saying that the Republicans realize that the American people, by mass, mm -hmm. usually don't assign blame properly. They can't tell. They, they basically, if you're in power and you're being obstructed, they see nothing gets done. They see, well, who's in charge? Obama's in charge. Obama must fucking suck. Got it. And the main tool they used to do this is. As we alluded to earlier, Senate. Oh, and the filibuster. And the filibuster. Okay, exactly. I see where you're going. The filibuster, for those of you who don't know, is this little fun rule which essentially allows the GOP or whoever the minority power is, it's just been the GOP in uh, those years that we're talking about right now, to stifle any sort of legislation getting passed through. So it's it's um, it's the. Um... It's the Mr. Smith goes to Washington it's thing. The Mr. Where, Smith goes where to Washington, goes to but it's not the Mr. Smith goes to Washington thing. It's not him standing there and just fucking going and sweating it out for twenty four hours, screaming for a very passionate and just cause. For example, you only need a forty one vote minority to stifle anything. Someone doesn't have to stand there for twenty four hours to stop things. It's not that. It's just oh, there's only forty one votes. You can't do anything. Oh, so they just like send it an email, like they're in their home state. They're in their home state. They're not oh, even my... fucking in the room, okay, and they can okay. stop okay. this. Okay. This is the reason why the. For the people I didn't get past, right, and why the and why Joe Manchin and Chris Kirsten Cinema, which is a cunty name, both, I'll say that on the record. Them. Both of them are off cunty people. But yes. Kirsten inherently is a cunty. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry yeah. to anyone named Kirsten out there, but if you're listening to this, fuck you. Go to hell. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just went like Dark Knight. I all can't of it. do it. I hate that name, dude. It's <laughs> Kirsten ear, is it, a bad. It, name. It, yes. Ear fucks your eardrums. Yes. It's disgusting. I mean, uh, to me, what it's sounding like is um. So the filibuster basically has been rewritten, and you're saying that by they're just they're just send they basically just send the emails, and so 
the Senate can only function if you have a 60 vote majority. Majority. 60, which is Okay, so why don't we just get that? Ridiculous. Is that It's impossibly hard to get that. Then we go into all the things of like redistricting and voter suppression and all that kind of stuff. But you're saying that you so what I'm trying to understand is the the filibuster is used to obstruct government. Mhm. So the minority power mm-hmm. can stop the president's agenda or the ruling yeah. party's agenda. Go back to eighth grade social studies. We have a bicameral legislation. It means two different houses. Right. right. We have the House of Representatives which is done in population. Okay. So California has 435 representatives, I want to say. Not California, the whole... Oh, no, no, no. No, uh, no, sorry. All of Congress has 435 representatives. Yes. California yes. has like 55. Something like that, yeah. So, certain amount of representatives per certain number of people. Sure. Wyoming has a fuck ton less because Wyoming has a fuck ton less I think people. they have one. They literally have one house. They have more senators. Yeah, but there's only yeah. 500, what? Let me see. Like 500,000? 578,000 yeah, people yeah. in Wyoming. There's 40 million in California. Oh, and they get both two senators. And we both get two senators. Okay. Why the fuck does Wyoming get two senators when California gets two senators? Well, the Senate is an inherently... New York gets two senators. Wyoming gets two senators. There's 578,000 people in Wyoming. Jesus, that's like Anaheim. There's 2.6 in Brooklyn alone. The Bronx, 1.4. Fuck, even Staten Island only has 479, has 479,000 people. God, that's like an Italian suburb. Which is just, a, it's like Wyoming and you cut off the tit. That's what, that's, <laughs> Staten Island's Wyoming cut off the tit. And they're Staten just Island as crazy. And, and, but, Sicily. <laughs> and they have better pasta. That's the only difference. Or they have pasta. I don't know what the fuck they eat in Wyoming because I've never been there. But they have the same number of senators. That's crazy As New York. That is crazy to me. So it benefits states like Wyoming or Georgia. Well, or all these other white rural states where the predominantly white, conservative, rural, evangelical. Oh, my Lord. So well, that's why I've progressive always heard, I've always heard, I've always heard that the Senate is a, the Senate has always had a bias towards these states. Always. Right. I mean, if you take 33 or like 32 of the lowest population states, you know, you, you take a certain amount of them and they'll add up to California. And they'll have like 66, 64, 62 senators in total. And then California still has one. The thing is, like, this is a problem that's gone down. It's, it's Filibuster has been around forever. I mean, it's it's been since the founding. And so... No. What do you mean? It was in the 1820s. Oh, right, right, right. What with, I, with Calhoun. Mm-hmm. Right. What else in the 1820s was popping off? Slavery. Abolition. In particular, <laughs> oh, right. abolition, abolition. The discussion yes. around whether we Slavery's should have slavery. Than that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> John C. Calhoun, the name you mentioned, is the founder of the filibuster. He is the father of the filibuster. Right, he has right. gone down history as the dude who fucking founded it. And he is also the dude who got down history, who is the leader of the anti-abolitionist movement. Right. He describes slavery as a necessary evil. That's a fucking direct quote. A necessary a d- evil. Necessary evil. Direct quote. But So he recognizes it's evil. He just doesn't give a fuck. He's just like, oh, it's necessary. He's just like, we need it. <laughs> so, mm, I yeah. need that slavery. <laughs> I need, I, he, he, he wanted it, dude. He was a real that's, big fan, apparently. That's really crazy. Damn, like to, to straight up argue against, that's wild. Yeah. So the filibuster, in other words, is an invention by anti-abolitionist politicians. Oh, my God. To keep slavery. To preserve check. the institution of slavery. Well, and that is now the thing being used to stifle actual progress. What What's so unusual to me is how, like, um, basically we can't... When I mean we, I mean, like, the American government. Like, I, you know, you and I are liberals, but it's like, I want the government to function. Like, if a, if, if the elections are honestly representative mm-hmm. and, <clears throat> and a conservative power comes to power, then they should rule. And what's weird is that no matter... Like, no one can really get 60... The, the Senate, first of all, Not is inherently current, undemocratic, yes. so it's impossible to get... any Anyone can get 60 votes in the Senate. Right. And the only people who can even dream about it are Republicans, because they're the ones who have the, the, the affirmative action, you know, lean towards them. So, basically, if no one can get 60 votes... Oh, this is why no major legislation ever gets done. This is why nothing gets done. Yeah. And it's not, the Senate's important, too, because it's not just uh, legislation. They select judges. Well, see, they recently got, I, b- I believe about a, less than a decade ago, they um, they no longer required, they, you're no longer allowed to filibuster for, for judges. judges. But this is, this is how Trump got all of his justices. Yeah, but that was done after Obama. Because Trump got <clears> this, <throat> and I don't have the numbers in front of me, but Trump got, I want to say, a little bit less number of justices than Obama in four years. Right, right, Obama right. got an eight. Right. Well, he, he, first of all, he, he uh, Trump got more justices... Supreme Court justices 
Obama got Supreme Court judges. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah he no, got no, okay. Kagan and Sotomayor. Something we should clarify. Yeah. The Senate also appoints federal judges. Right. So there's 13 federal uh, them. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. districts, and there's a certain amount of judges for each one of those. So there's hundreds throughout right. the country. So uh, what's what's crazy and to these me? Are, those are the sorry to interrupt, but like no. those are the courts that decide what gets to the Supreme Court. So they're kind of fucking important. Oh, they literally decide, yeah. All the Trump judges, that's how Roe v. Wade got to the Supreme Court. Well, also, the Supreme Court sees like 80 cases. These guys mm-hmm. are seeing thousands of cases. And they've all been through one of the federal appellate courts. Right. Holy shit. Well, one of those so, so, so we got rid of the filibuster for judges because. For judges. Because yeah. we would literally not be able to approve it. They judges. got rid of the filibuster for judges when Trump was in power because it benefited Trump. That was also a political strategy. Right, but this is how we got. Uh, uh, like this is how the liberals got K- Katanji Jackson, right? Justice Jackson. Not now that it's flipped, yeah. Right. So, so why don't we just get rid of it? Because you, this is where the catch twenty two comes in, or yeah. like the circular fucking clusterfuck that is the Senate. You need to pass a vote in the Senate to get rid of the filibuster. So you need the sixty vote majority. But wait a second. Um, no, no, no. I, I, I was under the impression that if I was under the impression that. Uh, the the way Mansion and Cinema were holdouts isn't because they were holdouts for the For the People Act. They were holdouts for getting rid of the filibuster. Wasn't that part of the For the People Act though? No, that would have been something differently. They were they were to get rid of the filibuster, and I think they would then pass a whole series of legislation. Do you need? Let's look this up. Let's look it up. If you need fifty votes to get rid of a filibuster, okay. So we just looked it up. So. The ruling party, remember, the filibuster is a Senate rule. It's not a law. It's not a law. It's a rule the senators come together and make, usually through the Appropriations Committee. And um, basically, the ruling party can just needs 51 votes to get rid of it. And that's why Mansion and Cinema are so important. And that's why Mansion and Cinema are so important. So, the so, so the question is, why don't we just get rid of it? Is the fear, what, retaliation? Here's my, I guess. Here's how I see it. I think we should get rid of the Senate. Honestly. Uh, That's a legitimate argument. I, I really think we should get rid of the Senate. I'm more of the thing get rid of the filibuster so the Senate can do its job. You're more as fuck the Senate thing. And just uh, do one giant house. Yeah, do one giant house. The house is way more representative. I don't care about states. I don't care about state representation. No, I care people. about human representation. No, I don't think that's fair that 40 million people in California have to suffer under the, the whims of what, the what is whatever. What is like, what is Wyoming? And what is the relevance of Wyoming if it, it's not about its citizens? I don't care about the entity of Wyoming. I care about the citizens of Wyoming. Yeah. And they, I'm sorry, but that they're is, not special. No, that is a great point you just made up. You know, Senators represent states, not people. They don't represent people. They're representing the states, entity of the state. people. Right. I mean, states aren't fucking people. America also had this history where people used to say the United States are a nice place to live. And around the 1830s and 40s, as America legitimized itself as a na- nation in the world, it, the language changed. We switched from are to is. The United States is a nice place to live. One nation. Right. And so this idea is that America was built off a confederacy. And this is where we had the Articles of Confederation, right? It is a confederacy of states. And so we have this idea of these people who came from different countries coming together. Like the people of South Carolina and the people of, of New Hampshire came from different countries. They had different currencies, different ranks. And they're coming together to form a union in opposition to the British rule. So I feel like we don't live in that world anymore. I, I don't give a fuck about the entity it's of It's starting to feel like that, yeah. You know? And and so yeah. to me, to me, I, it kind of just uh, beckons the question of... What's the point of the Senate? What is the point of the Senate? No, I'm with you. So, I mean, uh, we have we have this inability to kind of govern any kind of opposition or, or, or to basically pass any laws and... Anything meaningful done. Well, it's just become... A, it's become kind of like... How do I put this? It's become an... A country of affirmative... of, of um, It's become a country of executive action executive orders of justices, just judges. Which get overturned by the next president with executive orders. Right. And limp, honestly, limp tech legislation. I mean, Biden, because he's the he's the compromise man, mm-hmm. um, passed the Inflation Reduction Act. He got, he got um, same-sex marriage and interracial marriage codified in law. So Obergefell can no mm-hmm. longer be overturned. Um, passed a massive infrastructure bill. The, that, that's the, oh right, that's no, different from the Inflation Reduction Act. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the four. that's the one part of Build Back Better that got let through. Went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, that's 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 limp dick. That's limp dick to me. It's not nothing. 
But I mean, Bill Maher, who's now become the centrist voice in America, saying that this is what coherent, compromised government comes from. It but is sad watching him go more and more to, to the, the right. Yeah. I think it's just him being old, though. I don't know if he's moving to the right if we're if the or world's if we're mo- moving to the left. Yeah, or the world's moving to the left. It's hard to tell sometimes. I think, yeah. he, I think he's made some changes. I don't think he's flip flop. So I think maybe the world has shifted. Yeah, maybe. He's been pretty consistent. Like if you go back into the early 2000s or, or even the 90s, he's probably the same. I think what's. what's uh, I smoke weed and I fuck black chicks. Is That's that, Bill Maher. Is that what he does? Pretty much. Huh. The weed part I knew. I didn't know he was. Uh... Oh, yeah. He... Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, this is a new show now. Oh, yeah. He's got the money for it. Go for it. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Um, you can I, choose whoever the fuck he wants to fuck, dude. I mean, I, I think, I think that the, in my opinion, I think the Senate is not just broken. I, I really think it's it's pretty broken. It, it it's it's an it, to me it's an anti democratic institution. It is if you go back into the history of the uh, the Philadelphia Convention, which is where they formed the Constitution, right. and as you were saying, uh, like a remedy to the Articles of Confederation, it was a compromise. As was a three fifth compromise, you know the whole thing that were black people weren't fully human, that kind of stuff. I always, yeah. I always, I always love that number, three fifths. That's a you know that is a negotiated number, like nobody nobody says like you know I have a six and three fifth of an inch dick, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's that's a number. That also, they, no one would say that. they would say seven. Oh right, right. If it's over six and a half, it's seven. It's seven, yeah, yeah. But it's like, dude, that, you know what I mean? Like that's a <laughs> number. Six and a three fifth dick. That's so great. <laughs> that yeah. dude, like someone sixty percent. They thought yeah. of it. They thought of it. Oh shit, dude, sixty votes. Da da da. Da da I mean, um, to me, this kind of uh, uh, yeah. Rhode Island was like, yo, I want it's gonna fuck me over because all the and th- here's the ironic twist: all the hugely populated states in the South. Wanted them. Wanted, but they wanted they wanted want slaves. The one the slave population to count slaves, as representation, count. not as votes. Yeah. So white people wanted to v- have the voting representation of slavery, right. Without letting the people vote, mm-hmm. and then the wh- white people in the north Just were like, their numbers. they're like, uh, all right, you they, they're human, but they're not actually human. Yeah. So here's some three fifths. Yeah. You know exactly. It's such an it's so we're all racist. It's, it's everyone's such an fucking racist. Insulting concept. Everyone's fucking Holy racist. Holy shit. But as history is sad. Yes, but as the motto of the show is, <laughs> degrees matter. Degrees do matter. Degrees do matter, and there's yes. a difference between uh, sixty degrees and hundred. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to help a little bit. I, I mean, this look. This is a frankly short episode. It's a frankly short episode. I think it's this a is, pretty simple topic. It's a pretty simple topic. It's the case that we surmise, which is that the first of all, America is not a democracy. It has never been built like that. It's no, built, even built like, if it's like most on paper form, it's, it's a, a republic. republic. It's a republic, right? It's a it's a republic, and um, the founding fathers firmly believed that they they had fears about the uh, I don't want to use a Mark Marx Marx term because no, they, no, they, did, no, they didn't they did not have that term available to them at the time, but they really Fair feared enough. the pro, they, they feared they feared the proletariat. They feared the common man. Or the commoner, um, who they thought was unsophisticated or unable to handle the sophistication of modern governance, um, they feared their 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 quote what they called the mob rule, which was what I call the voice of the fucking people. Yeah, you know, elitist pricks. But it, it, we can see this in Hamilton's writing and Jefferson's writing. Their total fear of the mob rule, and so. But also, that's like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and the Koch brothers getting together to be like, I don't know if these people right. have Good. what's going on. Exactly. I don't know. Right, right. Hey, guys, taxes are bad. It's like, yeah, you would think taxes are bad, motherfucker. Exactly. And so there, there is there is kind of like, there is definitely a sense of elitism in the way the country is constructed. And the Senate, to me, is a, they call it the cooling saucer. Have you ever heard that term? Yeah, eighth grade social studies. Yeah, 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 like the cooling saucer, mm-hmm. which... For those who don't know, back then, like the late 18th century, they used to put coffee in a saucer to cool it down. Cool down. And so they were saying, they were saying, and I quote, the Senate would behave like a cooling saucer to cool the temptations of the people. Yeah. And hilariously, the Senate is also notorious for literal fights happening. Oh, yeah. Not the House. <laughs> the Senate. No, they like beat each other. <laughs> pulling guns on each other and yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking knives and shit, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Especially during the the, the, the antebellum years, mm-hmm. before slavery when they were like, ended. when they were arguing about whether black people were human or not, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. that whole fucking thing. 
You have disgraced my honor, sir. Yeah, you know, you know how much you have to like believe that black people aren't human to pull a gun on the motherfucker. Yeah, like I'm gonna end a human life debating on whether or not this is a human life. <laughs> That's fucking wild, dude. Uh, I mean, it's important to understand that the filibuster did not just stand in the way of getting rid of slavery. No, and it's not it, a part of America. It, it's it is the filibuster is a Senate rule that came in to slow down abolition to preserve slavery. The Senate played a huge role in it started the slowing Civil War. down seg- integration. It started the Civil War. Right. It was it was the prequel to the Civil War. Yeah. And um, uh, filib- the filibuster stood in the way of progress and stands in the way of progress till this day. It stood in the way of the Civil Rights Act. It stood in the way of anti-war movements. Mm-hmm. It stood in the way of comprehensive climate change laws. Mm-hmm. It stood in the way of voting rights protections. Voting rights protection. Now that's now being backed. Desperately fucking need. It is the reason we don't have health care. It's the it is the we reason don't we don't have a federal minimum wage that's at not seven dollars, right? Or whatever the fuck it is now. Which I don't even know what you do with seven dollars. Tw- I mean, can you imagine if we get- we live, we live in California, but still seven dollars, even in fucking. You think the people in Wyoming would give a fuck if their minimum wage went up to twenty? No, I don't think so. I think they, I think they would thank our California votes. Yeah, I think right? they would thank us too. <laughs> I think they would thank our California votes. In the end, I think that uh, the the way the Constitution d- devised. I, I'm not a. I'm not a. Everyone who founded America is evil, or America is star spangled awesome. Okay, I look at history realistically. I judge people by the product of their time. Yeah. So does that mean every founding father gets a pass on slavery? No. No. Degrees matter. No. Okay. John Adams is better than Thomas Jefferson because John Adams didn't own fucking slaves. And they're all better than John C. Calhoun. Yes, and they're all better than John C. Calhoun. Right. So their degrees matter. And so um, the people who founded this country were inherently elitist. They were inherently racist. Mm-hmm. Fine. But really, what is the problem is that the Senate, along with the Supreme Court, which, by the way, gave itself the power of judicial review. It was not in which the Constitution, is which is crazy. These are inherently anti-democratic institutions that limit and slow down the will of the people. And historically, the narrative has been that, whoa, 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 we got to cool the tempers of the American passion. But in fact, the Senate has obstructed the tempers of the passions of the people in their fight for progress. In the fight for abolishing slavery, it stood in its way. In the civil rights era, in climate change, in health care. To preserve the elitism and privileges that right. comes wrong with this. In, yes. in women's Absolutely. suffrage, it was a huge block. And so t- to think that this is a, honestly a, an institution that's even defensible, I, I think, no, I think it's got to go. I think it's got to go, and I think the way we, you know, there's a future debate and a future video about gerrymandering and, and, and how, where do we draw the lines for the house, and the house mm-hmm. isn't perfect, but... God, man, no, the, the House is so much more representative. So much more representative it's than the actually Senate. representative. It is actually representative. Yes. Right. In the end, I want to live in America. Do you have any more points? Because I'm about to draw no, a conclusion here. No, Here's good. my conclusion. The, 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 the House of Representatives is the House of the people. And the Senate is the House of the states. And I want to live in an America in which there is only a House of the people. And that... These entities that protect the state, which are not human, and usually controlled by a handful of people who tend to have a lot of money, and God is a <laughs> sweet land of All I want, all I want, is a house for the people. That's it, and the Senate should go. Land where oh, my father's died. died. <laughs> land of the pilgrims. Some outro music for you. Sorry. All right, but that's really it. Yeah, I mean, I was saying. No, that was giving me teary. That was a beautiful little speech. That was a beautiful, that was a beautiful, a beautiful little, speech. little speech. House of the people. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have. As always, fuck John C. Calhoun. Fuck John C. Calhoun. Have a good night. Or day. Or when the hell you're listening to this. And if your name is Kirsten. Fuck, go fuck off. yourself. Libtards and Shy with Max and Mansoor. Join us again next week for an all new episode and please remember to like and subscribe on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Wherever you are and whenever you are, have a good morning, good evening, or good night. <clears throat> what? Don't wait around to like after the credits. There's nothing weird there.
All right, here's a question for you. Okay. How many black people does it Three take? Three-fifths. Three-fifths. 